way around and you can see what we've done here we've got the concrete I mean the uh, steel in there we got that 5 8 rebar and then we got that 3 8 for stirrups kind of hold everything in place and same thing on this side all the way down and you can see we have the uh, 5 8 rebar and then we have the 3 8 that we've bent we bend our own and with a 12 inch wide trench our steel is 8 inches apart and since we're going 24 inches deep the height of it is 18 inch 18 inches so all we do is when we put it in there is we wire everything together and you can see where one rebar starts and the other one ends and then of course we have our get this stuff out of the way. you can see we have our corners over there goes around and makes the corner and of course we do the same thing go over six foot tie into the uh, next piece over to the next corner so really when the concrete pours around all this stuff you're going to have one continuous piece of rebar okay we got our form plywood forms up got our steel in there we're up about I think we're up about 13 inches above the concrete up we're all the way around out here where the door we're not coming past anywhere past the door we're staying right there keeping the concrete between two or three inches away from each side so that way the concrete can get a good bond all the way around two inches off the bottom all the way to the end we got to go all the way around this is going to be quite a bit of concrete according to the uh, the fellow that's going to help me seven yards seven yards of concrete that's a lot of concrete anyway same thing here keeping our distance two inches off the ground two inches off two to three inches off the sides we uh screwed screwed our forms on the outside you can see that where my foot is screw that in we made sure that the forms we made the outside edge is perfectly square these inside blocks once we start pouring will come off that just kept our distance the same all the way down so we wouldn't have a kind of a ripple look in our concrete <clears throat> now one thing I think I forgot to mention when we were putting this ledger board in is when you be able to put when you put that in to raise the garage up for the very first time and then you get ready to pour your concrete you got to have a space in between here and where the top of the concrete is going to be to get your jack back in there so you don't want to have this thing too low to the concrete you'd be defeating the purpose of raising up your garage 